One more chirp from you, little bird, and you'll regret it. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Ow, jerk. If you don't like that, just say so. I can do other animals, too. Dire cat, frog dog, quaking monkey lizard, you name it. You, I'm Jayla Nash. I run these cells in slave pits. You're the acolyte Tremel sent for the test, right? <laughs> he thinks highly of you. Then I will repay his faith by sticking to my mission. You should know this situation is highly unusual. Normally an acolyte goes off well for the interrogation. Overseer Tremel had these three shipped in for you. He thinks you're the next coming of Exar Kun. But you ought to know, Tremel ain't the only one paying attention to you. Now, these three prisoners are being transferred here for your inspection. You gotta interrogate them as needed, and then decide their fate. The convicted are usually executed, or given a trial by combat to see if they're worthy. Whatever you decide, you will be the one to carry out the sentence. I was hoping this would keep me entertained. Ah, <sighs> fine. Let's get started. This one on the left. You freaks aren't getting anything new out of me! Just do whatever you're gonna do! So, you're hoping for blind mercy. Do you know where you are, lady? You don't have to tell me. There's no such thing as mercy here. I know how this story ends. Impudent to the last. As I was saying, she was sent to kill an Imperial spy in the Yavin system. Throughout her torture, she maintained that she was hired anonymously. Get it through your damn head! I had no idea he was Imperial, and I don't know who hired me! Regale me with the details of your operation. What was your chosen form of murder? I didn't kill him. I was caught before I could pull it off. The point is, she doesn't deny the charge. So now you must decide. Execution or trial by combat. Which do you choose? Neither, actually. She could prove useful. Send her to Imperial Intelligence. I won't work for free. Huh. You spared her. Interesting. Please. I am a fellow Sith. Judge me with an open mind and grant me trial by combat, I beg you. Pipe down, scum. You will speak when spoken to. This part of Waste is Davotek, once a valued Sith champion, until he botched an important mission and caused a thousand Imperial deaths. Now look at him. I served faithfully for 24 years. Then one mistake. And they threw me away. Now I have been left here to rot. Please, let me feel the weight of a weapon once more. I don't do charity work. Feel the weight of a weapon in your throat. I die a disgrace. Good. I won't have to look at his sad, weathered face anymore. Thank you. Don't mention it. Ah, well, this last prisoner's a bit of a puzzle. He's called Brig, and he's a jittery little wretch, suspected of supplying forged documents to Republic agents. Strangely enough, he maintains his innocence, despite being severely tortured. Nebaga imana, naki naya, bila maknam unya kamna lebek. Are you trying to tell me you've led a clean life? Naki oya makmak, nebaga imana, naki naya, bila maknam unya kamna lebek. Ah, he's never wavered from that line. And the evidence is circumstantial. I suppose it's actually possible he didn't do it. So, what do you decide? I don't care if he's innocent or not. Torture him enough and he'll confess. <laughs> Shut up, you fidgety fool. The decision's been made. Ah, <sighs> well that's that. You're an interesting one, kid. I can see why people are keeping tabs on you. Head back to Overseer Tremel. See what he thinks of your choices. Is this everything? Everything Lord Renning was able to obtain, yes. Then run back to your master in the beast pens before I cut you in half. 
Sorry to make you wait, Acolyte. These interruptions are incredibly annoying. On to the business at hand, your test in the jails. First, the assassin, Solenz. She attempted to kill an Imperial spy, but was unaware of her client's affiliation. You assigned her to Imperial Intelligence. I commend you, that was excellent thinking. Never waste a potential resource. Of course, the answer was obvious. Obvious to you, but not to many who have come before you. Now, Devotech, the former warrior. He wanted combat, but you struck him down. Perfect. The man was utterly useless. I do not ever choose to waste my time. Once something is used up, it should be eradicated. Lastly, the forger you sent back for more torture, even though he seemed innocent. A strong decision. Leave no stone unturned. The ripple from even a tiny stone can flow a great distance. Well, well, look who just turned deep and insightful. It's always best to know beyond any doubt. After all, what is one man's sanity or life versus the fate of the Empire? Hmm. Each time, each prisoner, you made the best possible decision. You may yet be able to challenge Vemrin for Darth Barris's attention. To celebrate? A small reward. Then I'm ready. Let's make our move. Don't be so hasty, Acolyte. There's more that must be done before we expose you to Barris. Because I forced you into the Academy ahead of schedule, Darth Barris will be predisposed to judging you severely. And by severely, I mean fatally. Now, we must hurry to your next trial. Every moment that passes, we risk discovery before we're ready. In the caverns of Mark Aragnos is the beast he left to guard his legacy. Go there, sit among the flames, and wait for the beast to come for you. Sounds like a good opportunity for violence. Hold nothing back. This creature is doom itself. Return to the Valley of the Dark Lords and find the tomb of Mark Aragnos. I'll see you when the beast is slain. Good luck.